Hello, I'm Dr. Dheeraj Kalatka, consultant neurologist at Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust. I look after people uh, who have problems with their head and brain, including headaches and stroke. And apologies if you're listening any background noise. This is a working hospital and we are unable to stop all the noise in the background. Let's talk about migraines. Migraines are as common as tension headaches. They often come without warning. They, they can often start with a throbbing kind of pain in your forehead, perhaps behind the eyes. Some people uh, report it as a headache on one side of the head, perhaps the right or the left. Uh, they can be quite severe and disabling. They are often associated with other neurological features like warning signs where you get some visual disturbances. Uh, you could also uh, be very sensitive to light, sensitive to noise. They are often associated with nausea and vomiting and people often need, need to lie in a quiet, dark room for hours at a time. So what causes migraines? We don't for clear know what exactly the basis of a migraine is. I would explain it as a temporary problem with sensory signal processing in the brain. We are, we are commonly exposed to uh, touch, vision, smell, vibration, and lots of other signals that your brain would process every second or every minute of the day. And if there is a problem with this, you're most often uh, likely to get migraine symptoms, including the migraine headache. Many people find their migraines are associated with common triggers, uh, common triggers like uh, certain kinds of food, like cheese, wine, or other alcoholic drinks, stress, or even hormonal changes uh, could trigger off a migraine attack. Keeping a diary of your migraine attacks is quite useful uh, to reflect upon not only with yourselves or including while discussing with, with your doctors. Many people can treat their migraines with simple lifestyle modifications. If that doesn't work, they often resort to over-the-counter medications or perhaps even a prescription from your GP. You could ask your friendly pharmacist for what the best over-the-counter over medications is. If it gets a bit complex or repetitive, your GP might consider referral to the hospital for a specialist perhaps like me. So cluster headaches are a rare form of uh, headaches. The headaches often come in clusters or in quick succession. They can often come, come on for a few days, perhaps a month or even two months at a time in a given year. Cluster headaches are excruciatingly painful. They often come as a severe pain around the eyes or the forehead. And they, they are often associated with symptoms like redness in your eyes or tearing in the eye a blocked nose even. How do we treat cluster headaches? Common over-the-counter medications often don't help cluster headaches. Your GP will be able to prescribe specific medications that can help abort headaches. Thank you for watching this video about headaches. I hope you have found this useful.